In this episode, I'm in a hotel room in the USA and I just got a request about how my kids did some entrepreneurial magic and here's my answer for him, enjoy. I want to share with you guys something. Some of you guys have heard this, but a lot of you guys haven't. Have a listen to this. My nine-year-old boy. Have a listen to this. You learned something from my nine-year-old boy right now that's, if you haven't heard this before, take notes. Wait a minute. Uh, I heard Dad... Hi, I'm Calvin. Uh, I heard Dad's tape, Jim Rowan. I heard him say, it's not the blowing of the wind, it's the set of the sail. And to me, what that means is the same stuff happens to us all. It's just the way you deal with it which determines where you get to and where you want to be. That's it. Goodbye. My boy. Now, <laughs> so there, there's my quote that he got off Jim Rowan. It's not the blowing, wind of, uh, blowing of the wind, it's the set of the sail. Some of you guys might be struggling right now, and I'm with you, it's cool. You'll be okay after today, because it's not the blowing of the wind, the person sitting next to you might be doing $50,000 this month. You know, Michael Splane, who just left, I don't know if he's coming back today, he'll be here at the VIP party a bit later, but Michael did five contracts in a day, and him and Chris on Saturday were competing for who can do five or six sales in a day. You know, and you might be sitting next to a person, like a Daniel Richardson, um, can you smell it, Mark? No, I'm just kidding, man. I'm <laughs> just kidding. If I was on the drink all night, you'd be, I'd be by myself somewhere because no one would want to sit with me. Um, I've, I've, I've tarnished his reputation now, man. I've killed him. Um, but so, you don't know, you know, so it's the same market that's blowing on these guys that are doing six figures in a month that's, that's blowing on you. It's the same market. So it's not the blowing of the wind that's set aside. My nine-year-old can get that. You can get that. Yeah? So, um, uh, all right. Uh, it's not a rope company, it's a side company. All right, so there's my kids. They decide, thank you, thank you. They decide to sell soap. They have what the guy who wrote, what's the book, the e-myth uh, called an entrepreneurial seizure. Joel, my little five-year-old, got a melt your own soap kit for his birthday. And they melted the soap and one of them said, let's sell it. <laughs> So they end up selling soap. That's them about to go door to door. Two years, uh, th just turned three, five, and nine. About to go door to door to sell soap. They learnt the company motto. There is a saying that says any, from Procter & Gamble, or one of these soap making companies, there, any, any idiot can make soap, or any fool can make soap, it takes a clever man to sell it. He's right. My five year old is the one in charge of production. <laughs> And guess who his number one freaking employee is to pour the hot... Uh, uh, they don't pay me enough, I promise you. But anyway, so we made soap. Any idiot can make soap. Just like I think it was Chris saying, any idiot can become a real estate agent. It's a five-day open book exam that I used to teach alongside Alistair Kay when I worked at the REIQ. They'd get me into Ray Whitehead office. I would teach the saying, and no one fails. No one fails. It's an open book exam with a tick and flick multiple choice that you keep getting resubmitted until you get it right. Yeah, they start charging you 40 bucks a resubmit after about resubmit three or four or five. So you get your, your hustle a little bit and you part, but everyone passes. Any idiot can get in. It takes a genius to last a year. You know, so, um, so the kids, we're learning from my kids. There's them going door to door. Here's big write me principle number one. You've probably got right me principle number 17 or 18 or 28,000 if, if yesterday was anything to go by. Is that the most professional sign you've ever seen? In fact, is that the most unprofessional sign you've ever seen? There was a lady at the markets the day my kids were there selling soap. She was professional. She rued the day my kids rolled up at those markets. She didn't, and I don't say this with... I, I, I in fact felt bad because my kids had the cute thing going on she didn't sell a cake of soap all day I kept a bit of an eye on her feeling sorry for this poor woman it's probably her living my kids come in and smoked her why? they got a USP a unique selling proposition it's cute 
But Calvin learnt the saying. He said, it's all, we've got this homemade soap. We've started a soap company. It's all natural. It's homemade. USP, all natural, homemade. It's uh, one piece of soap for $3. Or if you get, it's buy two, get one free. So it's two for $6. Which do you want? How good is my boy? <laughs> hey? It's not, do you want to buy soap, yes or no? It's, do you want one or three? Yeah? Man. So, but the big right me is, unprofessional kicks the crap out of professional. In so many cases, it's not funny, including yours. Now, I'm not saying be a, a t-shirt wearing bogan at your open homes. But what I am saying is, you give me a marketing piece that's good, or you give me your flyers, I promise you, your good professional to corporate branding standards with the correct logo, with the correct printing, CPMKY printing, you give me that versus me with a torn piece of paper, printed on newspaper with a ripped edge with a handwritten post-it note on it saying this looks all right. Yeah, who got one of these from me by the way for this event? Yeah, a bunch of you guys. Who got it and didn't know it was from me? Did anyone seriously think it was from a friend or from a colleague? There's still a few that are yet to be uninitiated enough. So I thank you and I apologise. I'm trying to fool you, although most of the market now knows me that He's fooling us. But you know what? The smart ones are saying, he's trying to fool me. He didn't, but I'm going because I like the thinking. Yeah? This isn't trying to sell you. It's just describing. It's editorial in content. You know? With a post-it note on it saying one of a million scripts that we've got done. That's better marketing than your printed glossy flyer. I'll quote my man Mark Dwyer over there, wherever he's gone. Are you holding a surfboard? saying, I'm on the move. If you're on the move, call me. I'll give you, heaven forbid, a free appraisal. As opposed to all those paid ones that you can get from everyone else. I'll give you a free one. Aren't you lucky? You should celebrate dance on the street. Okay. Professional sucks, at least in my opinion. You've seen it from my marketing. So, that's my opinion. There's my guys. There's the soap sales. Woo! They did all right. Here's their results. 85% closing ratio when they went door-to-door. -door. $92 revenue in two hours. They ended up, after the two-hour door-to-door session, they ended up saying, we need a PlayStation 3. How many soaps do we have to sell to get a PS3, Dad? We did the numbers. They got themselves a goal. Um, here's my lesson that we got when we went door-to-door -door from Joel. Joel's introverted. And when someone said, no, I was ready to protect him, and that's what he said to me, walking back out of the driveway after his first rejection. Look at that. That's okay, Dad. There's another house right there. Oh, we bought the principal's in the room. If we bottle that and give it to your salespeople, are we golden? I'm five years old. And he's introverted. I was ready to protect him, saying, it's okay, boy. You know, not everyone's going to buy. He goes, it's okay, Dad. Another house. He's good. This is what I got from my nine-year-old. Jim Rowan's right, Dad. Profits are better than wages. <laughs> oh, nine. Hey, how often do nine-year-olds get 92 bucks in an hour, for two hours? And here they are after the day at the, they ended up doing two days at the market, there they are all cashed up. No, they're proud. <laughs> Damn, there's my, 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 my champions. And there's them after two days at the market, one day, two hours door to door with their own self-paid for PlayStation 3. Where's someone with a camera? Give them love. Go. Nuts. That's my kids. I'm scared for my boy, thank you. I'm scared for my boy, for the nine-year-old, because he's got a taste for it now. Whenever he wants something, he counts it in soap he's got to sell. Just like my friend and my former mentor, current mentor, whatever you want to call her, I've sat in her rooms, she sat in mine. Terry Cooper used to just measure, how many more sales do I got to make to take my holiday to Greece? Any of you guys know Terry? Some of you, if you don't, you should, yeah? Yeah, Terry said one. She used to just measure her, how many listings do I need in order to go to Greece for a holiday? That's how you should think. The currency of sales, not the currency of money. Saying, do you want a new Ferrari? How many sales?